the journey of life, some faces are marked by the agony of unanswered prayers, enduring years of waiting and hoping against hope. Such was the path of mercy, who, after a long and arduous wait, finally reached the longed-for stage of being blessed. However, instead of basking in the joy of fulfillment, Mercy found herself ensnared by the malevolent spirit of discouragement. I am the spirit of discouragement. The malevolent spirit that torments the life of humans, especially Christians that are about to receive their blessings. Watch me, as I am about to strike yet, another believer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart filled with both hope and longing. For years, I have prayed and waited for the blessings of a good job, a loving husband, and financial security. Lord, you know the desires of my heart, and you know the patience and faith it has taken to endure this journey. As I stand before you now, I'm putting on my miracle, my wedding gown, my bridal crown and shoes. It is a symbol of my faith and belief that one day, I will wear it with my husband by my side. One day, I'll finally get employed and I'll be able to help my parents like they've desired. Lord, I ask that you continue to strengthen my faith and grant me the patience to wait for your perfect timing. Fill my heart with your peace and assurance, knowing that you are working all things together for my good. May your will be done in my life, and may I continue to trust in you unfailingly. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. My daughter Mercy, as your name suggests, you have obtained mercy from the Lord and I will answer your long time prayers. In few weeks, you shall be blessed with a husband, not just a husband, but my beloved, the one who serves and worships me wholeheartedly, the one whom I blessed so much, you shall gain financial freedom. This, I will do. Keep trusting me and do not give up for your time has come. You are blessed. What did I just hear? Mercy is about to be blessed. I will not allow her to receive the blessings. I'll make sure I discourage her to stop hoping in Christ. I'll make sure I make her lose her trust in the Lord. This, I'll start immediately. I'll enter the people around her and make her hate herself. I'll make sure she gets frustrated. I'll use those she loves, so that she can give up. <laughs> I am the mighty spirit in the lives of many. I have come to dwell here. I shall use everyone in this household. Ella, why are you still at home at this time? Thought you've gone to work, or what is the problem? Mercy, unlike you, I have a job that pays me. Thank goodness you realize that I have a job. You are here dressed in a wedding gown like a mad woman. Aren't you tired of wearing this gown? You must be a fool by thinking that you'll get a husband simply by wearing wedding gown and praying every day. I can't even get enough sleep because of your stupidity. Don't you know that you are growing old already? You are almost in your mid-thirties and you are still praying for a husband and job. Mercy. You are seven years older than me. I have two jobs I do, one office job and owner personal job. I have a man that engaged me last week with a car. I am just 27 years and I have achieved so much. Instead of you to go out and paste a placard that you need any man as a husband, you are here praying, I pity you mercy. Can't you see your face? It's looking ugly already. I wouldn't even advise someone I know to marry you. Ella. What have I done to you? Why did you speak to me like that? That was too much. You weren't like this before. What came over you? Mercy. Nothing came over me. It is high time you realize that you are turning to an ugly old fool. Enough of this hoping and praying to God for over ten years. Don't you have shame? If God couldn't answer your prayer since over ten years ago, is it now that he'll answer you? Get lost please. Ella. 
this is unfair. The Lord that did yours, will also do mine soon. I believe that my prayers will be answered soon. You wish. At this age of yours, you can't even get a man like mine. Please, take away these accessories on you and do the needful. Do not disturb me with your prayers again. Mercy. Your sister was not lying. You have been praying consistently for over ten years now and your prayers haven't been answered. You will be thirty-five soon, and you are still hoping on God? Stop praying to God because it is needless. God has forsaken you so you should forsake him too. What kind of evil thought is this? I rebuke it in Jesus' name. I serve a living God. I will never stop hoping or believing in him. He has promised me, and he's definitely going to fulfill that promise. I'll continue praying to my God, my Lord and my personal Savior. I will continue praying with this wedding gown. Why is she so stubborn? I won't stop. Good morning, sir. You request to see me. You are Mercy Davids, right? Yes, sir. I submitted my application here last week. I didn't ask you for that. Please, sit. Miss Mercy Davids. So, I checked your CV and I realized that you graduated from school 11 years ago. What have you been doing with your life since then? I have been unemployed since then, sir. I have written application to several companies. I see. How old are you? I will be 35 years old in a month's time, sir. And you are saying that with pride? I clocked 35 yesterday, and I own this company. You wasted over 10 years sitting at home without doing anything. What kind of life is that? No experience whatsoever and you are not even married. And you are happy you will be clocking 35 next month? Do you know where your mates are? Some are in millions, married, living a fulfilled life and living a good life. You are here begging for job at this age. Look here, there's no job for you here. You are too old for the position available and you don't even have any experience. You better go and find something to do about your life. This is a very expensive advice. It will be better for you to take to my advice. Thank you, sir. What just happened in there? That man insulted me. I refuse to be discouraged. Thank you, Jesus, for I know you have better plans for me. Thank you, Jesus, because your thoughts for me are good and not of evil. Let me quickly go to Sarah's place. She said she wanted to tell me something. I refused to let this man ruin my mood. She won't still give up. And I will not stop tormenting you. Sarah, why did you ask us to meet here? Maybe I'll get you a husband here. Since you are not worried or concerned about it. How can you say that, Sarah? Why won't I say that? You are nothing less of a useless fellow. I am sorry to use that word, but that's the truth. My wedding is next weekend, you need to sit up and leave this single life. You are the oldest among us, remember? I think I am only older than your younger sister with two years. Do something please. I think I need to take my leave now. What will happen to the food and drink I ordered? You want to waste them? You don't even know how stressful it is to make money, so I am not surprised. I am sorry Sarah, I'll pass. I am not hungry. Thank you. Do you even have transport fare? I know you don't have. Eat and let me give you transport fare back home. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Stop that here. Don't do this here. The God you have been calling for years and have refused to answer you. It is well. Finally. Can't you see that everyone around you have been telling you the truth? What is the essence of you praying every day for over ten years without results? Is it until you clock 40 in your parents' house? Your friend was right you know. And the company's boss, but you failed to listen to them. 
sin against God, stop serving God and see if your life won't change for better. What an evil thought. Get behind me Satan. I need to start going to church. I am late already. Church again? Why is this lady so stubborn? Some Christians are not this hard to discourage. Anyways, I'll push harder. Ella, please, can I take your car to church? I'm running late and I'm the one taking the Bible study. I don't get. I should give you a car my man bought for me. If you are desperate for one, why don't you get yourself a man that will gift you a car? That is not even possible at this age of yours. And by the way, why are you going to church? The church you have been going for years without any positive impact in your life? Why can't you get the memo? Stop forcing these things. God doesn't love you. He has forsaken you. Stop doing all these. So, it is true that God doesn't love me. Ella, is it true that God has forsaken me? Yes. It is best you understand that now. I guess you are right. I am just tired of my life. I have tried to keep my faith intact, but I am just tired. Everyone is mocking me. Even in church, there's no point going again. I'll rather sit at home. Now you are talking. Go back inside and I'll take you out for some shopping. Thank you, Ella. Finally. I have succeeded. The things of God will no longer matter to her. And she will soon backslide and lose her blessings. Ella, I will go to church. Even if God let go of me, I can't let go of him until he blesses me. I still hold unto his promises. Ella, I'll just trek to church if you can't help me. I hope we have been blessed by the message today. In everything, let us believe and hope in Christ, for he will not disappoint us. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. If anyone is to preach to us that God won't disappoint us, should that person be you? Can't you see that the Lord has disappointed you? You still hope and believe in God. Is it not even better to die? than to be facing this shame everywhere. May the Lord forgive you, sister. The Lord will never disappoint me. Thank you, Lord, for speaking through me today. I have faith in you, and I believe you'll answer me very soon. I have put on my wedding gown again believing that very soon, you will answer my prayer. Lord, help me to remain steadfast in you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your sister came to tell me that you ran mad again. You are here acting silly when your mates are getting married. Tomorrow is your friend's wedding and you are here reminding God about your life. It seems you do not know that God has forgotten you. Mom. Even you. Whatever you or anyone says, I'll not give up on God. I am going to my room. This lady's blessing is near. Is this how I'll watch her get blessed? She's so stubborn. That was too harsh. I shouldn't have spoken to my daughter that way. The words that came out of my mouth didn't portray that I am a Christian. I just spoke like an unbeliever. I am meant to encourage her and not discourage her. I hope I didn't allow any evil spirit take over me. Forgive me, O oh Lord. I am only human. I just want the best for my daughter. Can't you see that everyone around you hates you? Even your mom. Why can't you just kill yourself and die? Kill yourself. Mercy, kill yourself? No, I won't kill myself. Killing is a sin. I'll sit here and wait for God. And even if God doesn't bless me and answer my prayers, I'll keep serving him. I'll not doubt God. I serve a living God. Dad, how do I look? I am going for Sarah's wedding. You would have looked good if it were to be your own wedding or any good news about you. Dad. Come to think of it, ever since your graduation, 
There has never been any good news about you. Nothing to rejoice about. Dad, you'll rejoice over me soon. Amen. If only you think twice that you are the last single lady amongst your clique, all of them are married. If you get to the wedding venue, I hope they don't start insulting you. If I were you, I'll just sit at home and think about my life. It is well dad. Can I get transport fare from you? Are you this shameless? I'll just go inside. I refuse to be sad. I'll always be glad and rejoice in the Lord. The Lord is good. He is faithful. The Lord has remembered me. My prayers have been answered. This month is my month of ease. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I will testify soon in Jesus' name. Devil is a liar. I refuse to be discouraged. Something is telling me to walk to the hospital down the road. Let me just go there. Nurse, I am sorry to stop you. Can I steal a few minutes of your time? Yes, ma'am. Is that lady really dead? We lost her to the cold hands of death. Her husband is currently in coma. I learned they just came into the current and they got into a fatal accident. My goodness. This is so sad. What if you are working in the hospital? We see so many cases here daily. Those that have good health should be praising God daily. Those that can breathe, eat, those that are not in pain needs to be praising God. We have seen so many situations here. Some even have money, but money can't solve their problems. If you go into the surgical wards, you'll see so many people on life support, some can't feed themselves, they can't talk, some are even unconscious and when I go out, I see some people murmur to God. My daily prayer is that God should heal the people here. Sister, please ensure you put the patients in the hospital in your prayers. May God heal them, and may the soul of the departed rest in peace. Amen. I need to go now. Thanks for your time. Ah, this lady refused to be discouraged. Do Christians like this still exist? I couldn't manipulate her at all. I didn't know that people like this still exist. I have been put to shame. Her blessings are here. It is time I go. With this, I'll never give up on God. The fact that I'm hale and hearty. I can talk, eat and breathe. I'll never doubt God's love for my life. I'll wait on God. Hello miss. Let me alight, I'm coming down. How may I help you? This road is a lone road. I noticed you've been walking and talking all by yourself. Do you mind if I drop you off? I am not a kidnapper, I am Daniel by name. Mr. Daniel, thanks for offering to help. But I don't need your help. You can get back into your car and zoom off. Actually, I am very tired. I'll gladly accept your help. Thank you so much. Is that how you wink at strangers? Maybe because you don't look like one to me. Let's get going please. So, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm Mercy. I am a business administrator. 35 years old, single. Single? Wow. I'm just a year older than you. I'm 36 years old, single as well. Wait, you just said you are a business administrator, can you handle projects? I am in need of one in my company. You have a company? You don't look it at all. Because of the car I am driving? This car is the least of my cars. I need a business administrator, can you fit in? Just like that? I don't have any experience yet sir. Who cares about your experience? If you are less busy now, we can go to my company for interview. Jesus Christ. Ten years. What are you talking about? Nothing sir. Let's go to your company. Mercy. My God sent. My dearest Mercy, I come before you today with a heart overflowing with gratitude and love. 
You have been a blessing in my life in ways I never thought possible. I have been through ups and downs, and I have suffered the heartbreaks. What the Lord keeps telling me is to wait. He has guided me through difficult times, reminding me to remain calm and continue praying. I want you to know that since you came into my life, I have seen God's hand at work. And through it all, I have seen His faithfulness as I have won many business deals and experienced blessings beyond measure. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 40, 31, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. Mercy, you have shown me the importance of waiting on God's perfect timing, and I believe that time is now. Mercy, you are a blessing to me in every way, and I cannot imagine my life without you. Will you do me the honor of being my wife? Will you stand by my side as we continue to walk in faith, trusting in God's plan for us? Daniel, you came into my life a few months ago and you made me forget the pain, suffering and mockery I have experienced in ten years. You gave me what I have been praying for consistently for a long time in just months. It truly pays to serve the Lord. My life is a testimony. I have received mercy from God. Daniel, I love you more than words can express, and I pray that God will continue to bless our relationship as we move forward together. I, Mercy Davids, will be your wife. Thank you so much. We have a wedding to plan. Let's go for shopping. I already have my wedding accessories. Really? By the power vested in me. I hereby pronounce you mercy, and I'm your husband and wife. That is from today, you are one and inseparable. In the name of Jesus. Dear daughter, your home is so beautiful. I am proud of you. The Lord has finally done it. He doubled the blessings for us. I am so happy for you, darling. Thank you, Mother. Thanks for feeding me for years. And thanks for your prayers. God bless you, Mom. God bless you too, daughter. Your dad is here. He wants to see you. Dad. Congratulations, my love. You have made all of us proud. You have put the devil to shame. God bless your home mercy. I'm in dad. Thanks for not giving up on me, sir. Your sister, she has been crying uncontrollably. No, where is she? She is outside. Ella. Dad said you were crying. Why? You should be happy for me. Sister, I am so sorry for the evil words I said to you in your trying times. I know I said a lot. Who would have believed that you will get married before me? I regret ever saying those words to you, sister. Please, forgive me. If Christ can forgive us, who am I not to forgive? You only made my faith strong, Gorilla. I bear no grudge against you, dear sister. Come in, I have some gifts for you. Madam, I promise you, if you award us this contract, we will handle it professionally. You will never regret ever doing business with us. I plead with you, ma'am. Mr. T, CEO of T Enterprise. You can't recognize me. Mercy Davids, the lady in your office a year ago? The lady you said was not living a fulfilled life then? How did you get here? Are you the owner of this company? Who did it? God did. My goodness. The journey of mercy serves as a testament to the power of faith and resilience in the face of adversity. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, there is always light at the end of the tunnel for those who believe. It is my prayer to you, that those WHO have mocked you will gather round to rejoice with you. God bless you.